several large regions of the Antarctic ice sheet are shrinking every year. These areas are continuing to decline at faster and faster rates. Scientists fear that if global warming is not controlled swiftly, the ice sheets in Antarctica could collapse, leading to a rise in sea levels which would have disastrous consequences for low-lying cities and communities. It will also have a huge impact on climate change as Antarctica's ice plays a big role in regulating the global temperature. The white ice reflects the sun's energy back into the atmosphere and cools water beneath it. The continent, if it were to melt entirely, stores enough frozen water to raise global sea levels by 190 feet. If this happens, the consequences would be catastrophic for millions worldwide as entire nations could be wiped out. Scientists are now rushing to identify the factors behind this rapid decline of snow ice in the South Polar region and find ways to avoid the future disaster. Join us today as we investigate Antarctica's big ice melt and what it could mean for the world at large. Before we start be sure to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The ice-covered continent of Antarctica, surrounded by the Southern Ocean, holds 90% of the world's ice. This mass of ice that forms the ice cover or ice sheet over land has resulted from the accumulation and compaction of snow over thousands of years. And when it extends over the sea, it forms an ice shelf. The Antarctic ice sheet comprises the West Antarctic ice sheet and the East Antarctic ice sheet. At first glance, the situation with the Antarctic ice sheet may seem unclear. In some parts of Antarctica, the ice sheet is melting rapidly. In other areas, it is growing due to unusually large snowfalls. However, surveys of the entire ice sheet show that overall, ice loss is surpassing new snowfall. Not only is Antarctic ice melting more quickly than new snow can replace it, but the rate of loss due to melting is increasing. This year, the ice is significantly smaller than it ever has been. As of late June 2023, Almost a million square miles of ice was missing from the ocean around Antarctica. It's the smallest amount of ice ever measured around the continent since 1979. Before we investigate the disastrous impacts of this situation, it is important to understand how sea ice works. Sea ice is an integral part of a larger system that includes icebergs, land ice, and expansive ice shelves extending from the coast. Sea ice forms as seawater freezes during Antarctica's winter season which is from March to October, later melting in the summer. Sea ice loss doesn't contribute directly to sea level rise. Melting sea ice doesn't add any extra water to the ocean because Antarctic sea ice acts like a protective collar around the continent. The sea ice shields Antarctica's glaciers and massive ice shelves from ocean waves and warm ocean water that hasten melting. Those ice shelves contain a lot of frozen water, and if they break and become part of the ocean, that's what's going to raise global sea levels. Dr. Caroline Holmes of the British Antarctic Survey warns that the consequences of diminishing sea ice might become apparent during the transition to summer, potentially leading to an unstoppable feedback loop of ice melting. As sea ice diminishes, it unveils dark ocean areas that absorb sunlight instead of reflecting it. This leads to the absorption of heat energy by water, further accelerating ice melt, a phenomenon known as the ice albedo effect. This could significantly increase heat in the environment, disrupting Antarctica's role as a global temperature regulator. Meanwhile, scientists are racing to figure out how much of that ice is likely to melt in the next hundred years, and to understand why the sea ice shrank so precipitously this year. They are challenging questions to answer, because Antarctica and the ocean surrounding it are enormous, complex, and remote. Unlike the Arctic where humans have lived for millennia, the Antarctic requires specialized ships and planes to visit, and is basically inaccessible for half the year. Antarctica is likely warming much faster than the predictions made by climate change models. A recent study has found that Antarctica was warming at a rate of between 0.22 degrees Celsius and 0.32 degrees Celsius per decade, compared to 0.18 degrees Celsius per decade predicted by climate models. 
scientists found direct evidence that the continent was also now undergoing polar amplification, which refers to a greater climate change near the pole compared to the rest of the hemisphere or globe, in response to global climate change. In West Antarctica, a region considered particularly vulnerable to warming, with an ice sheet that could push up global sea levels by several meters if it collapsed, warming could be at twice the rate suggested by previous climate models. The West Antarctic Ice Sheet is the frontier of dramatic ice loss in Antarctica, and one of the most rapidly changing ice sheets on Earth. Some researchers have warned the region could be fast approaching a tipping point, which once reached, would lead to collapse, irreversible in a human lifetime. If left unchecked, the complete melting of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet would cause a global sea level increase of 3.3 meters in the distant future. A worst-case climate scenario could see these changes occurring much more quickly. Meanwhile, the East Antarctic Ice Sheet has remained stable for the most part, but now, some glaciers are accelerating at a similar rate to those in West Antarctica. The Totten Glacier is the largest glacier in East Antarctica, it alone contains as much ice as the entire West Antarctic Ice Sheet, and has the potential to contribute 11.5 feet of sea level rise. It is one of at least six glaciers in East Antarctica that are melting rapidly today. Glaciers along the Wilkes Land coast in East Antarctica doubled their rate of melting between 2009 and 2018. While these changes remain relatively small compared to those seen in West Antarctica, they indicate changing ice dynamics in a region previously thought to be stable, and warn of potentially widespread melting across this part of East Antarctica in the future. The impacts of this big melt in Antarctica is huge. A major global deep ocean current has slowed down by approximately 30% since the 1990s as a result of this melting ice. Known as the Southern Ocean Overturning Circulation, the global circulation system plays a key role in influencing the Earth's climate, including rainfall and warming patterns. It also determines how much heat and carbon dioxide the oceans store. The overturning circulation originates in the cold and dense waters that plunge down deep off Antarctica's continental shelf and spread to ocean basins globally. It brings oxygen to the deep ocean and returns nutrients to the surface ocean. What's driven the slowing of ocean currents is the fact that that dense shelf water is not as dense as it used to be, due to reduced salination. Researchers have found that the melting of Antarctic glacial ice has resulted in additional freshwater in the ocean. This melt water isn't only increasing sea levels, it's affecting the planet in lots of different ways including altering weather patterns and depriving marine ecosystems of vital nutrients. Scientists expect in the longer term that while there will be ups and downs related to sea ice formation, the overall trend is that Antarctica is losing more ice, it is melting more, and that will gradually slow down ocean circulation even more. So now that we know the terrifying truth, what can we expect in the future? In 2021, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report predicted sea levels will rise between 11 and 21 inches by the end of the century. However, they note that a sea level rise of over 6 feet can't be ruled out under a worst-case scenario. The reason for this uncertainty is the complexity of factors that influence how ice sheets flow, break apart and melt. Scientists develop predictions about sea level rise by studying how ice sheets behaved in the past and how they are behaving today. We can expect the efforts to predict the precise sea level rise in the coming decades to continue. A 2022 report from NASA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and other U.S. government agencies predicted sea level will rise up to a foot by 2050, prompting international concern. Therefore, it is critical that we take urgent decisive action to slow the effects of the climate crisis and protect humanity from rapid catastrophic sea level rise caused by the melting Antarctic ice sheet. We are interested to hear your thoughts about Antarctica's big ice melt and its consequences for the world, so leave your opinions in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.